Good, thanks. So, Excited. Um, just mindful, it's Johnny Sexton's last ever captain drawn into the Six Nations game. Um, can you speak a little bit to the contribution he's made to the competition throughout his career? <laughs> Where do you start? How long have we got? Um, yeah, well, Johnny's Johnny's Johnny. You know, he's um, he's going to be the well. Hopefully, he's going to be the record point scorer tomorrow as well. In terms of um, points scored in a in a Six Nations, taking over from from Rog Ronan Agora. But um, I think his um, his presence and the way he teaches people and people get to understand why he's as good as he is through his excellence and through his drive to become excellent. Um, and be bloody minded and, and hard headed really in terms of, you know, playing to his potential, chasing his potential continually every single session. I think players have really thrived on the back of that and learnt a lot from from Johnny on the back of that. What it means to play for his country is um, is huge, you know, he epitomizes the whole the whole thing. So he's been a great leader, he's got an amazing knowledge of the game. So so working with Johnny, you know, you can let him go and he can He'll run the show, so it's it's it's, and it's um, just making sure that he puts the best performance in in, in tomorrow because that's what it's all about, really. It's it's not about Johnny and his last game or his last captain's run. It's about the performance of the team, which is crucial for us tomorrow. Uh, just sort of the back three there, one change again for fifth game in a row, apart from. Um, you have Max Hansen who's won three Man of Match awards. Yeah, we've been in drips and drabs, you know, we haven't really, I don't think we've really nailed our attack in terms of where we'd like to be, um, but partly of that is because you come in against some exceptionally good defences. Um, I thought Scotland tested us, um, they, they, they defended very well last week, they were very physical. And it's something that um, you know England will, England will bring tomorrow. So it's um, it's making sure that when we get those opportunities, that we're ruthless with those opportunities. We have to score those points when we get the opportunity to do it, because you don't get a lot at international level, especially against a, an England side or a Scotland side. So being um, relentless and, and going after those those moments and don't miss those moments in a game. Mike, can I just ask you about the occasion tomorrow? Um, Ireland number one. Right? <coughs> Tapping into, and would it be the, the biggest win in our trip week before it went wrong? Um, are we tapping into it? I suppose we. I mean, it's going to be a great weekend. You know, I think the fans have been amazing. I think you know the way the the boys have played has definitely gripped the nation in terms of the success we've had over the past year. Um, but again, as as a group, you know, we're not going to get too emotional about the whole thing. It's a game of rugby, and and all we're doing is is chasing our potential and and. You know, making sure that we can be ourselves in this environment, and that's pretty much what we've spoken about all week in terms of you know, go and be the best version of yourself. Get out there and go and play, and um, don't worry about the occasion. It's got nothing to do with it, really. It's about you being the best version as a rugby player you can possibly be. How important is, is the crowd in the game like this? Oh, it's listen. The atmosphere. I think you can feel the buzz in the city already. You know, it's everybody's walking around. It's uh, it's amazing, and it's just, just um, yeah. You know, you want to be. In, games like this. You want to be part of, of, of big things like this. That's the reason we do the job. You know, the players do their jobs and um, you know, you've got to thrive in this this intensity. It's brilliant. Mike, how was the training out there for the, the captain's yeah, run? Yeah, good. Everybody fit and healthy. Dan and, and Kaylin have all come through 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 well. Um, obviously, Gary Gary was jogging around a little bit, but uh, you know, he's obviously doing the return to play after last weekend. But um, yeah, no, everybody's in a good place at the moment, so just preparing nicely, thank you. And Robbie Henshaw, quite a comeback from injury for him. He makes his first six nation start of the, of the campaign. Yeah, well, that's the, you know, that's the, 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 the beauty about having somebody like Robbie, Gary, Stu McCluskey and Bundy. You know, there are four of them that are fighting for positions and, um, you know, it's been tough to make the decisions on the back of it, but, but obviously with Gary out, you know, Robbie coming back in, you know, he's a world-class defender. He's, you know, probably the best defender at 13 um, over the past couple of years. So, you know, he's got a huge role to play tomorrow, especially with the way England can play. 
and the threats that they've got in those, those wider channels. So it's great to have Robbie back. Robbie and Bundy work exceptionally well together as well. They've got a lot of history together. So um, let's see what they can deliver. It's also an extra special occasion for Josh Vanderfeer taking his 50th cap. Yeah, I mean, it couldn't happen to a nicer bloke, to be honest. You know, the adversity he's gone through his career and selection-wise and, and um, all that sort of stuff for him to, to achieve achieve that, that role is, is, is huge um, and he's such a humble guy you know he's worked exceptionally hard to be player of the year as well he's an um, incredible guy to have in your team you know he's, he's, he leads by example and you know let's hope we can do him proud tomorrow so the part you're trying to get in there hi Mike um, you played up to famously with Johnny Wilkinson are there any comparisons to be made between him and Sexton yeah yeah, <laughs> both obsessive. <laughs> no, they love they they they, they um, yeah, they just completely different mental animals. They 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 so in the moment. They so in the game. Everything means a hell of a lot. They deep thinkers of the game, um, and it's bringing that freedom out of them so they can go and perform. Really, that's the, that's the crucial thing. And. Um, but what, what, how they make people feel around them is, is what they're very, very good at as well. You know, when you stand next to Johnny Wilkinson or Johnny Sexton, inside or outside of him, you feel pretty special, really, you know, and it, and it makes people around him feel good too. So, yeah, there are a lot of comparisons in there, but, you know, ultimately you've got to deliver on the, high, on the big stage, and, and, and Johnny's done that. Both Johnny's did that. So um, let's, uh, let's see what Johnny can do tomorrow. Um, I mean, I don't dwell on it too much, to be honest. Um, it's, I think what Andy said all week, really, is being the best version a player can be of yourself. You know, you look at guys like Mac Hansen have come into the team, Jamison Gibson Park. You know, we haven't asked them to do things that they don't do on their day-to-day -day stuff, you know, when they're back at their clubs. Um, and they've thrived in that environment. And, and that's all we're asking for the players, is be their best version. Because, you know, you never reach your potential, but you can always chase to get to that potential. And, and I think... You know, making something of, of a game of rugby is, is too much, I suppose. It's, it's a game of rugby that we've all played before, and it's just about you going out and performing in that, that, in that environment together and doing it together and how cohesive we can be together to, to make it happen. So I think everybody that's come in has been able to be themselves, which, which is huge, and it gives them a lot of confidence and trust. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the 03 thing, we'd been around together for six, seven years before we did that, seven, eight years. So, um, yeah, you just, it's, you know, rugby's about decision making and being calm enough to make those decisions. And that's all it is ultimately. So, um, yeah, the game's changed a bit since then, but mentality is the same. Um, Mike, for the time we were out there today, it, uh, everyone looked very relaxed, looked very happy. Is the squad feeling the pressure of a grand slam and the expectation? No, I think the expectation is within ourselves. We we knew we set out to to be in this position, and you know, fortunately, we've we've come through some real tough games to be in this position. So, for me, the expectation there's enough expectation. We don't need to worry about anything else. We know what we need to do. The players understand what they need to do, um, and it's now being being able to go and do it. To, to tomorrow afternoon. So, you know, the, the pressure hasn't ramped up at all. We, we, we love being where we are, like any other team would be. Um, so, but we are coming up against a, a hell of an England side. So, um, you know, there's no bones about it. It's, it's, it's going to be a proper test match and a tough test match. Um, Mike, um, for Andy Farrell, the England fly half is what you might call a known quantity, I suppose, but in the sense that they've got Aaron Bull starting his first test start on the wing. They're in the middle of a rebuild, they're coming off the back of a very painful defeat. Is there a sense that England might be a bit of an unknown quantity? You don't know quite what's going to come from them tomorrow? No, I think, you know, we're massively respectful of that side because if you, if you especially from a backline point of view, you know, you look at that, that backline, they've played in some big games together, you know. You've got a couple of young guys in there, but ultimately, um, you know, 
pretty Stuart solid as a rock on the on the back. And Watson's been around for ages. Manu Slady and Owen have done some proper damage to to a lot of lot of teams. So, you know, there's no ways we thinking any otherwise than you know that it's going to be a tough, tough, tough test match. And they've got some proper um, X factor players. And I think Arundel's one of those players that we haven't seen a massive amount of. But if he gets the ball, he can he can cause absolute chaos. So. Um, yeah, so it's just making sure we control that, but then control what we can, how we play the game, and and make sure we make the right decisions at the right time. But they are exceptionally dangerous across the board, and we well we well aware of that. Mike, you mentioned uh, Gary Ringo's earlier on. Is there no concern around his well-being? How's he doing, and how involved is he? Um, uh, Gary's fine. So he was up and moving around on when did we play Sunday night, back at the hotel with his dad. So. Um, yeah, he got back on Monday. He's been good as gold. Again, he's helping out throughout the, the especially with the defensive stuff with 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 size to be and, and him, Robbie, Bundy and Stu have got good relationships there, so he's been sitting in all those meetings. Um yeah, Gary's Gary. And um you know, he he just wants what's best for the team ultimately. So he's he's been brilliant for us. The families of the players seem to be there today. What was the thinking around them? Well it's um you know, there's a hell of a lot of sacrifice that goes in from the players' point of view, the coaches, the backroom staff, and everything, so it's always a nice little touch for for the um, for the families to come in and actually see what what dad does or or, or mum does, and 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 experience um, an opportunity like they can, especially at the Aviva before the big big noise happens happens tomorrow. So it's it's great that they can get here, um, and it's it's obviously St Patrick's Day, so which helps as well, and uh, they're all off school. So it's uh, it's fallen fallen nicely, really. But yeah, that, it's 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 brilliant having your kids, yeah, and giving them the ability because it's been a long eight weeks, you know, together or twelve weeks, whatever it is now, um, since Portugal. So you know, there's a lot of sacrifice that goes in there. So it's great to have the have the families and stuff to to calm it down as well. No. Um, Gary Ringrose presented him with a with a jersey in front of the team, but that was it really. Standard. A few nice words from a nice person to another nice person. <laughs> <laughs>